Create a Q&A Maker knowledge base. Q&A Maker is the Azure cognitive service that can take natural language questions and provide pre-written knowledgeable answers. In Q&A Maker, you can create knowledge bases, or KBs, to contain your questions and answers. An AtBot's connection to Q&A Maker is completely no code. These KBs offer some powerful features, including the ability to clarify vague questions called multi-turn, the ability to scrape web pages, documents, and manuals to seed your KB, and they can actively learn from users and suggest improvements to the KB owner. At its most basic level, a Q&A Maker KB has two columns with all content provided by you. Questions go on the left and answers on the right. The question consists of multiple phrasings, so you can cover the different ways people may ask it, and the answer is a concise but helpful overview of the answer, perhaps with a link to the source for more information uh, or even a button to prompt the user to continue the process. Q&A Maker also comes with chit chat, which is essentially small talk for the bot to respond to off topic but very human type questions. If your bot can't answer a simple question like how are you or how old are you, you're gonna have trouble getting people to trust it. That's where Chit Chat comes in. To start using Q&A Maker, you need to create a knowledge base. It's best practice to have one KB per chatbot. From there, you train it with your knowledge, publish the KB, and then connect it to your bot. Even though Q&A Maker is an Azure service, you do not need Azure portal permissions to use Q&A Maker on a day-to-day -day basis. You will have to create an Azure resource for your Q&A Maker KBs to live in though. And if you share editing responsibilities across multiple owners, you'll have to do that with Azure too. But authoring, testing, and upkeep of your KB can be done by anyone you give permission. So for that, all you have to do is log in to qnamaker.ai. Let's get started. Beginning at qnamaker.ai, you'll want to log in with your account and click create a knowledge base. If this is your first Q&A Maker KB, the first step is creating a Q&A service in Azure. If you've done this before, you won't have to do it again unless you wanna separate your KBs into different services. As this is our first KB, let's create the Q&A service. Let's give it a name, select the subscription and resource group, and give the app a name. The app name dictates the endpoint URL that your KBs will get, so it might help to brand it. Also, don't be surprised if your choice isn't available. Customize it a bit. Now let's click Create. There are links on this page to understand Q&A Maker service and search service pricing tiers, which you can always change later. As Azure deploys the Q&A service, you'll get updates in the notification pane. Once the Q&A service is created, you can now create your KB. You can close the Azure tab and jump back to Q&A Maker. On the Create a Knowledge Base page, let's click Refresh in step two so the new service is available. Select it and choose your language. You'll note in the language dropdown, items are grouped by Chit Chat and Extraction or just Extraction. Chit Chat is only available in certain languages for now. More languages come out as time goes on. In step three, let's give your KB a name. Step four provides options for populating your KB from the start. That includes uploading documents or pasting URLs for scraping and uploading existing Q&A Maker KBs in TSV or tab separated value format. You can also apply Chit Chat in this step. We're gonna skip step four for now and cover content scraping and Chit Chat in separate videos. Though this is actually the easiest way to add Chit Chat to your bot. So if you want to, I'd do it now. You can watch the Chit Chat video for more info on how to manually add or replace Chit Chat if need be. Now we're all set. Once the KB is created, you'll be presented with the question and answer columns in an empty KB. Let's add a simple Q&A pair to start. This is a local government help bot, so let's cover a common topic for citizens, getting their garbage picked up. Let's add a few ways to phrase this question. It should probably have more, but this is good enough to start. Now let's provide an answer. In the real world, the Q&A answer should probably actually answer the question directly, but in this case, let's just link to the schedule that has the answer. Now, we can't do anything with this until we train the language model. So click Save and Train. Once it's trained, click Test, and we can try input phrasing that's not the same as what's provided. 
you'll see it connected to the right answer. And that's not just because there's no other options. Q&A Maker was confident that the connection between my phrasing and the provided question phrasings was close enough to justify giving this answer back. And that's it. You now have a Q&A Maker KB ready to be populated with useful info. Moving forward, you'll want to get this KB connected to your AtBot, and you'll want to expand it with chit chat and maybe some scrapes from websites or documents, and definitely more Q&A pairs.